program. We want to welcome to the show now Carson Cressley here. And uh, good morning, Carson. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty fantastic. How are you? I'm pretty fantastic, too, for a Monday. Good. <laughs> Boy, you're a busy guy. You've got uh, a lot of projects going on uh, right now that we're here to talk about. I guess uh, two of them that we're going to focus on, one that's uh, going to be happening tonight, and that's RuPaul's Drag Race. And then uh, we'll also, uh, I guess, get to uh, shine the light a little bit on Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, sure. But, but you got your start. I mean, we first became aware of you back uh, with uh, Queer, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. How long ago was that uh, that, that was first on? That was in 2003. It was 13 years ago. Can you believe um, it's been that long? In July. No, I can't. Um, I can't believe I've, I've actually been able to work in TV for that long. I'm like counting my lucky stars. But, um, yeah, that was, that was our launching pad. And um, I've been at it ever since. Here I am. And and the show tonight that is going to be on, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, premieres yes. tonight. What is that all about? Okay, so everybody knows who RuPaul is. He's, mm-hmm. you know, the most famous drag queen in the world. And um, uh, this is the eighth season and the 100th episode of a show that he created called RuPaul's Drag Race. And it's literally a competition reality show um, to search for America's next drag superstar. So Ru is kind of, you know, finding, you know, the next Ru, sort of. And um, it's so funny and so campy and so entertaining and, um, you know, and a, dra- a great drag queen is a great entertainer, you know, and, and the challenges they have to go through each week, doing a comedy routine and a fashion challenge, and a, um, they do a fake game show, and it's just very, very funny TV. And then the flip side is that you get to see their persona out of drag and really, you know, get to learn about who they are as a person and, the, you know, their struggles just like everybody else. And um, it's just, it's really... It's been kind of a cult hit. It's been the number one show on the Logo Network for, I think, all eight of its you know years that's been around, and um, and it's there, you know so many people are fans of the show that we get great guest judges. And this season we have Mark Jacobs, the fashion designer, and Nicole Richie, and David Sedaris, and Vivica Fox. It's just it's a, a full gamut of amazing people that come to guest judge. Maybe you could help me out here. Um, is yeah. is there a difference as we label people between what a who a drag queen is versus say uh am i thinking right the uh, like a transvestite is a drag queen just an occupational title or you know yeah i you know a drag queen is a job and they are entertainers and generally they happen to be gay men who um you know take on this persona for you know as a job or to mm-hmm. entertain people which is very different from being you know trans which is your you know some people have uh you know they're they're born into the wrong body for their gender, and that's, right. you know, when someone is transgender, like Caitlyn Jenner, she's trans and now is living as she feels in the right body. Right. Um, so two very vastly different things. So the drag, the drag queen is more of an occupational title then? Yes. Okay. I would say so, yeah. Oh, just something that popped in my head here. Yeah, no, it's, it's a question that, you know, is, um, that people have, and I think, you know, as, as trans people become you know, visible in our society, which is wonderful. People understand, you know, that there, that there is a difference. Coming up is the eighth season of Celebrity Apprentice, and, you, and you're involved with that uh, as yes. as well. Tell, talk about that. Well, um, they had asked me to do the show for a couple seasons, and um, this was the time when timing was right, and I was thrilled that Arnold Schwarzenegger was the judge, um, or the host, I guess, more appropriately. And... Um, uh, it's a pretty fantastic cast um, for, you know, sports fans. They have uh, uh, Eric Dickerson from the Rams and uh, Ricky Williams, Heisman Trophy winner, uh, a couple real housewives, one from Atlanta, one from Beverly Hills, Boy George, Vince Neal from Motley Crue. Um, and I think what makes these shows interesting is that it's an unlikely group of people having to work together, usually doing something that they have no idea what they're doing because, you know, <laughs> Most of us have not worked in the business field before. Right. Um, and then I, I think NBC did a really smart thing in hiring Schwarzenegger because he is an authentic, self-made, you know, businessman. He made his first million before he ever did a movie and, um, you know, came to America as an immigrant with like $100 in his pocket. So he's very authentic to what we're doing on the show. And then... Um, some really fantastic advisors in the boardroom, from Warren Buffett, Steve Ballmer of Microsoft, to Jessica Alba. It just really, I, I think the show is 
very authentic this season and um, and just and, great quality, I think. And do we have a date on when that is going to be uh, on air? They haven't told us officially, but I'm assuming it's going to be um, some sometime in September as part of NBC's fall lineup. Well, Carson, like we said, you're really busy because not only do you have the uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, which we see the premiere tonight, we've got Celebrity Apprentice coming up, but you've got a new book out, too, uh, titled, Does This Book Make My Butt Look Big? <laughs> yeah, I've um, you know, I've done a, a men's style guide. I did two of those books. I did a kid's book, but I've not yet done a, woman, a women's book. And, you know, women stop me all the time on the street, and they say, oh, you know, how do I look and what should I do? And this book is really just a lighthearted look at, you know, women's style. And, you know, I I came up with the, you know, does this book make my butt look big title because it's kind of an insane, funny title. And the idea is that, you know, fashion, whether it's for women or men, it shouldn't be um, stressful and it should be fun. And um, it's just full of real solutions for women to, you know, look and feel, you know, even if it's just 10% better or sexier, that's an improvement. And um, I think... Think. It comes out in, in October, but I think you can probably pre-order on Amazon.com right now. All right. Well, uh, you got anything else to, that is in the hopper after all all of this? Uh, no, I'm bu- I'm busy with all of this. Um, Drag Race is super fun. So excited! Oh, I actually do have a new project. There's a game show um, that I'm doing with RuPaul as well that airs um, in April on Logo. So that's another project. So I I it's part of my plan to. You know, dominate all television. <laughs> it sounds like so, it. So, um, stay tuned. I'll, I'll be on. Keep changing the channel. I'll be on one of them. All right, Carson. We'll look forward to talking to you again. Probably about maybe your game show coming up here in a month. Uh, yeah, in April. Thank you for uh, joining us this morning. We'll look forward to you tonight on RuPaul's Drag Race and then uh, Celebrity Apprentice coming soon. Have a great thank day. Thank you. You too. All right. Thanks, Carson. Bye. Bye. Bye.